Hello, second grade mathematicians. You've been working very hard on two digit subtraction, filling up your mathematician toolbox full of different strategies. You've learned the break apart strategy, where you take a number sentence and break it down into smaller, more manageable steps. You've also learned how to build a model. A model can be using base 10 blocks or even drawing a picture to represent a subtraction problem. Today, we're going to investigate how a number sentence and a model are related. We will be recording and modeling at the same time. But how does our picture translate to our number sentence? How does our model translate to our recording? How do they go together? Well, we're gonna break that down step by step. We're gonna look at our model, and we're also gonna look at our recording and stop and think, hmm, how are these the same? How can we use these to help solve math problems? So by the end of today, you'll be able to confidently say, I can model and record two digit subtraction problems. Are you ready to solve a math problem? I know I am. All right, boys and girls, let's take a look and see what our math problem says to do. In this problem, I see 56 take away 19. And I read this top number, bottom number. I never read the bottom and then the top because in a subtraction problem, the larger number, the whole is written first. 56 is the number I am starting with. And I'm taking 19 away from the number 56. All right, now what does that look like when we make a model? We learn that when we make a model, we always draw the whole, the larger number. And here that is 56. I'm gonna draw that over off to the side. I notice I have five tens, and five tens is 50. Let's draw them here. One, two, three, four, five. Count them up by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Now I'm gonna draw the ones. How many ones do I have in the number 56? That is six. And when I draw them in, I'm going to make sure that I am building a 10 frame. And we remember that we need to see a 10 frame in case we need to do that magic word, regroup. So I have one, two, three, four, five, and six, 56. I always start in the ones place. And I like to put a star or even highlight the ones place to show that's where I'm going to start my problem. So now I need to ask myself, are there enough ones to subtract nine? Well, I have six. Can I take nine away? No, I can't. So that means I need to do that magical word called regroup. Regroup doesn't mean I'm getting something away. It means I'm simply putting it into another column or another group. So I'm going to take this 110 and borrowing it, and I'm gonna regroup it. And I know the value of that 10 is 10 ones. So now that 10 becomes 10 ones. Two, four, six, eight, and 10. Now let's take a look here. Let's look at this picture. What did I just do? Well, I took 110 and I regrouped it as 10 ones. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna show that in my recording. I could not here subtract my nine from six because more on the floor means I have to go next door. So I don't have five tens anymore, do I? How many are left? One, two, three, four. I actually have four. I'm recording my new number in the tens column because I now have four tens. Now, when I regrouped those tens, ones, into the ones column, it changed. Do I have six ones here? No, I don't. I added 10 to my six. 10 plus six is 16. So I no longer have six, I have 16 ones. All right, now I have a new problem. Now I read this, 16, take away nine. Can I subtract nine now? I absolutely can, so let's take nine away. I'm gonna cross out these six, seven, eight, nine. And now I'm left with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm left with seven, because 16 take away nine is seven. So I'm gonna record the number seven right here. After I 
finish my ones, I move into the tens because I'm not done yet. Let's take a look and see what we have to do. Remember, I'm reading it top down. Four, it's no longer five, take away one. So I'm gonna cross out just one ten. How many are left? To count them up. One, two, three. Three tens has a value of 30. Let's record the number three in the tens column. Let's double check. Four, take away one is three. So there you have it. The answer to 56, take away 19 is 37. And I drew a picture and I also recorded my work side by side. And you can see how the two go together and show the same thing. Let's try one more. Maybe for fun, you get out a whiteboard and try this one yourself. The problem we are solving is 43 take away 18. Again, I read it top down. My first step is I need to look in my ones place. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, excuse me. Not look in the ones place quite yet. The first thing I need to do is make a model. And when I make my model, I use my bigger number. And my bigger number here is 43. So let's all draw 43. Let's draw four tens. One, two, three, four, 10, 20, 30, 40, and three ones. One, two, and three. Remember drawing the bigger number because that's what I'm gonna take away from. I can't put something together in a subtraction problem. I'm removing, I'm taking it away. All right, now, because I jumped the gun before, we're in the ones column. So ones column here, reading it top down. Three, take away eight. Hmm, three, take away eight. Can I do that? No, I can't. So here comes that magic word. It's time to regroup. And I need to regroup 110 as 10 ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So let's see what this looks like over here. More on the floor, go next door. Yep, because eight is more, what's on the floor. And I borrowed one ten. So my four turned into one, two, three tenths. And when I regrouped my one ten, that three became three plus 10, which is 13. Now, if I could think about it this way, I had three, but if I give it one ten, I'm gonna put a one in the tens place and look up. Oh, 13, that's how it works too. Now we're ready to subtract. 13 take away eight. Can I do that? I certainly can, so let's take away eight. I'm gonna take these three on top and these five here, and what am I left with? Five, that's right, so let's record the number five in the ones place. Are we done? No, we're not. We need to move over into the tens column now. So again, reading it top to bottom, three, Take away one. Remember, I'm reading the three because this number changed. I don't have four tens, but I now have three tens. So three take away one. How many are left? One, two. Record your two. Remember, record means write. Now I'm left with 25 as my total. So 43 take away 18 is 25. And here's my picture. Look how my picture matches here. It shows how I regrouped. It shows how my numbers changed and how I subtracted. And remembering always to subtract top to bottom. How did you do? I bet you got it right. So mathematicians, I hope you feel a little bit more confident in how modeling and recording are exactly the same thing. Now you'll be able to explain how your picture translates into your recorded answer. And in no time at all, you'll only be using maybe the recording method. All right, math mathematicians, go out there and solve more math puzzles. See you next time.